Welcome back, all you beautiful patriots out there. It's your boy, Tyrone, Mr. Conservative. And yes, patriots, I'm back at you guys with another video. Now, please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And guys, don't forget to share the video. Don't forget to call me Mr. Conservative. And yes, patriots, I'm back at you guys with a somewhat quick video. Y'all know the demonstration, man. I'm going to try my best to make this video as quick as possible for you guys because you guys are important people with a butt ton of stuff that y'all need to do. But patriots, I truly do appreciate every last one of you guys from the bottom of my heart for all the likes all the comments all the good stuff that you guys do for me i truly do appreciate it now i want to take a moment here you guys and i want to have a brief little conversation with you guys and yes i'm going to talk about joe biden calling the fox news reporter a stupid son of a you know what right he called him out of his name all right now i remember back in the day not that long ago when all of you liberals was out there talking all this mess about the way trump handled the media right how he used to call them fake news, how he used to say, hey, you're a rude person, how he used to make all these comments, right? Oh, this is not how a president is supposed to act, is what you crazy liberals used to say. Now, is this acceptable? Is this acceptable? You guys comment below and let me know. Is this acceptable for Joe Biden to call this reporter? I mean, it doesn't matter if he came from CNN, NBC, Fox News. Is it okay for him to call him out his name because he did call him out his name i get it y'all gonna come back and say well tyrone he did apologize well i mean hey he apologized why 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 did he apologize he only apologized because there was some backlash afterwards you know what i mean that's like me smacking you in the face deliberately and then saying oh my bad my bad no nah, it's not your bad you did it on purpose i mean you did it on purpose Tyrone there's no reason I mean you sorry you sorry now because I squared up with you and now I'm ready to fight but I digress you guys so America are you guys happy are you guys truly happy are you guys truly happy because remember you guys voted for this man right who got seven percent inflation right gas prices we're looking here in in, in Democrat Illinois you guys about 350 360 a gallon you guys real talk you know what i mean real talk uh the dollar tree store is no longer a dollar anymore at the dollar tree store it's a dollar 25 plus tax so are you guys happy yet are you guys happy yet are you guys happy with the mandates they try and attempt to run down our throats are you guys happy yet i i mean come on I mean, like, if this was Trump doing all of these things that Biden is doing, I mean, the media, the mainstream news, all you crazy lefty loonies would have something to say about it. You know what I mean? Real talk. But you guys stay quiet when this man does it. And he is doing a horrible job. That's my own personal opinion, YouTube. My own personal opinion. Now, also, Patriots, also, his... Well, I mean, it's showing in the polls. It's showing in the polls that America is not agreeing with the job that Joe Biden is doing. I mean, look, he's down to, what, 30%. I think, like, last week he dropped 5% um, in the polls. I mean, and nobody likes Kamala Harris because she's doing far worse than Joe Biden is doing. Now, there's allegedly one of the Supreme Court judges are going to retire. Now, I'm not really too sure if this is real or if it's just a made-up stuff. I don't know if they're just trying to, you know, do it for the publicity. I don't know. Okay, now Joe Biden proposed to, you know, nominate a woman of color. All right. Now I I, I I get confused with this statement of woman of color. Right? They say woman of color. Now I know my brothers and sisters. I'm like, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna put a black person. Well, hey, they say Kamala was black, right? Then they also said that she was Indian, and then they also said that, you know, I mean, they only use this these these certain narratives. I mean when it fits whatever agenda they're trying to push or whatever they're trying to shove down your throat. You know what I mean? Because, like, when she got elected into Senate, she was the first Indian woman, you know what I mean, elected in the Senate. But now, when she ran for vice president, uh, she's the first black American woman, which, no, she's mixed. She's biracial. She's biracial. But I digress, Patriots, because I'm biracial. You know what I mean? I'm biracial. So I have nothing against biracial people. I have nothing against anybody, you guys, whatsoever. But I just want to point that out to you guys. What do you guys think about that? You guys think he's actually going to nominate a woman of color to the Supreme Court? Comment below and let me know if that option occurs for him, I, I guess. So let me just say allegedly if it if it pops up and he has that option. What do you guys think? Um, I also want to talk to you guys about, man, this crazy, crazy little thing that's going on in Europe called the Ukraine and Russia conflict that's going on between those two nations. Now, it has not erupted into an actual conflict, but there's been a lot of 
sword rattling and all of that mumbo jumbo. A lot of people poking their chests out, thinking they're tough, aka Putin, right? Now, do you guys think that if Trump was in office, that Putin would still be sticking his chest out, be rattling his saber like this? You guys comment below and let me know, because I think that he would not be going as far as he's going right now. Let me tell you why I believe this. And I said it in the last video. It's because Joe Biden has no cojones. He has no backbone. He has no spine. Would you guys agree with me on that one or disagree? Comment below and let me know. I mean, real talk. I mean, you know, they said it during the campaign. They Trump said it during the campaign. He was like, look, man, you think Putin, you think Kim Jong, you think uh, President Xi, you think any of these people going to respect this man? You think any of them are going to respect this man? No, they don't respect him. Let me tell you why. I, I, I told you why they don't respect him. But also, let me tell you why China don't have nothing to worry about with uh, Joe Biden. It's because he's in their pocket. He's in their pocket. You know what I mean? Like, real talk. Like, they've been paying this man off for the longest. The longest, you guys. This The longest. Like, like he is a slave to China. He is a slave to China. They've been paying this man. Look at his son. Look at his son. His son taking uh, money from Ukraine, taking money from Russia, taking money from China. They are paid off. You know what I mean? They are paid off, and they're paid off to not in our best interest, but to pretty much in these other people's best interest. You know what I mean? Comment below. Let me know what you guys think about that, man. Um, it's crazy, Patriots. It's crazy. I don't want to make a super long video, but I do want to make a quick comparisons for you guys. Let me tell you, what does the Democrat Party and the KKK have in common, right? You guys ready for this? They both are afraid. And let me tell you why I say they both are afraid. See, the KKK use acts of terror and stuff of that nature because they were scared, right? They were scared that they was going to be, you know, not be in power anymore. So they wanted to preserve their their foothold right the democrat party is afraid that's why they're trying to you know pretty much stay in power these are two of the same entities right here you guys the democrat party don't let them fool you man don't let them fool you okay the democrat party is the party of slavery okay the democrat party they were called dixiecrats dixiecrats you guys know where dixiecrats came from it came from the confederate union it came from the south they was dixiecrats so you know i mean i'm getting tired of people trying to say that republicans are these Racist KKK members, these skinheads, whatever you guys want to say, you know, that whole mumbo jumbo that all of you liberals like to spill out that makes no sense whatsoever. But yeah, these are two of the same entities. And you know what? The modern day, the modern day KKK is anti for you guys. Real talk. So I'll be coming back at you guys with another video, you guys. If it's not too cold, I'm going to be doing that reaction video. It is like negative two degrees out but i'm gonna try to do a reaction video for you guys tonight man uh so tune in for that you guys tune in for some more remember to comment like and subscribe you guys hit the the notify i'm sorry hit the bell so you guys get notified every time i drop a video for you guys um if you like what you're hearing on the on on the on on the stream the podcast here or the show or the youtube channel you guys make sure you guys put in suggestions of things that you guys want me to talk about uh reaction videos uh news articles you guys can always reach me at tyrone mr conservative at gmail.com as well you guys if you like to donate to the channel you can donate two ways through the venmo you guys i'll be putting those links in the description box below venmo and cash up if you guys want to help me uh upgrade the channel and stuff of that nature um those are the ways you can help support the channel and stuff of that nature. So let's end it like we normally end the video with a let's make America great, Patriots. Oh, yeah, y'all see the hat, Patriots. And let's keep America great. And come on in here. I'm going to tell you how we're going to do those two things really quick, you guys. We're going to make America great by protecting the Second Amendment, by having a strong leader in office, you guys, uh, respecting the United States people. That's those, I mean, like, you know, ex well, you know, those those three things right there is going to make America great. And it's definitely going to keep America great. You know what I mean? You guys comment below. Let me know what you guys think about that. And I'll be coming back at you guys with another video.